Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday Recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a bit about my last week in games. And well, we'll start with EVE Online, which has really been in maintenance mode. I have been absorbed a little bit more by game number two, but I still play the game a little bit every single day. Obviously, I'm still doing PI every day, that's on a 23 hour uh, round trip for uh, for the extraction cycles and uh, so every 24 hours pretty much uh, gives me a little bit of leeway I reactivate the extractors on the planet and that's how I create a pretty simple PI but you know it stacks up decently quickly and then when I get to sell it at great prices like for coolants at the moment 11k and over for the sales pretty easily uh, it is pretty damn good isk especially for the effort I'm really surprised this week PI has seen quite a bit of a resurgence and in fact someone uh, just mentioned in the comments from Eve Talk that apparently uh, a jihad has been called on uh, Poco companies in high sec and uh, so the expectation there is that we'll see a lot of destruction and thus uh, perhaps uh, more investments are being made uh, towards PI. Definitely pretty interesting, not what I expected uh, but that's of course why we play EVE Online. You never know what people will end up doing in the sandbox so it's definitely something uh, I'll keep in mind and I'll perhaps try to keep an eye out for. Uh, next up the PPCs. I did another run. It's going decently well I would say. We're still not in a great position because most of my PPCs are focused on larger ships and that's not still not a great time to be producing those but uh, my uh, structure PPCs are selling for higher prices all of a sudden so that's still going well. Uh, so I'm pretty happy uh, to about every 10-ish days or so uh, do a run for the PPC uh, copies because I am making them in a, an NPC station now. Of course, we lost all the structures. That's still that same well problem. Uh, the new uh, normal in Eve Online is that it's it's extremely hard to uh, maintain uh, any structures in Eve when you're in a tiny group or a solo player. But we adapt and we keep going of course. Next to that on my daily routines I also ran a couple of anomalies basically I didn't do too much exploration uh, because I didn't want to spend too much time uh, in the game uh, last week but I always do go out run a couple of anomalies clean them up do that salvaging as well it's all pretty automatic as well and uh, that's how I complete those daily challenges to destroy a number of NPCs and then you get some free skill points uh, in return for well, a tiny little bit of effort so it is a, a little bit of a hook that does keep me uh, in the game every single day and of course now we have the Guardians Gala that has started haven't taken part just yet I know from experience that in the first few days of a new event it's super super busy lots of competition so I'm actually just waiting uh, a little bit longer I don't feel the need at the moment to push for uh, like the full reward track but I'll probably dabble into uh, a couple of uh, of those high sick combat sites run them in the rattlesnake or something like that just to see if I can get a couple of extra skins some nice rewards or things like that we will of course see how things evolve in the upcoming week and when it comes to news well I like what CCP has done um, in order to incentivize a little bit of a rush perhaps on the Guardians Gala so they, they basically have a track in there where you can do some special sites or perhaps get some special drops uh, or I think it's also through the exploration uh, sites that you can basically get items that will give you early access to to the uh, skill books that will be needed for the new compression system uh, it's you know it's got a little bit of a, an in-lore story so I really like it and uh, it's it's pretty nice incentive I think for uh, either players that really want that uh, that step up from everyone else and are willing to put in all of that effort but also for larger more organized groups that might be able to basically farm that content a little bit effectively uh, they might just be able to make something available for their industrialists their uh, players that want to be prepared for when compression finds hits and as I've said many times before basically probably looking at FanFest before we get any uh, or towards FanFest a little bit before that in all likeliness uh, before we get any more concrete news on what CCP is planning for the development of EVE Online I personally can't wait this brings me to the second game where I of course spent a lot more time and that is Path of Exile. I basically worked on a second character uh, that uh, still works with the same philosophy of being a pathfinder and getting that automatic healing from those utility flasks. But this time I went with Cyclone, a pretty OP skill uh, that you know has uh, mobility built in. I absolutely do enjoy that. And I actually also sort of took a lot of inspiration from a build guide around the Cyclone build in order to up my 
damage once I got into the maps because this time my tankiness was a lot better but my damage was lagging behind quite a bit but I got a couple of totems that give me boost I got a couple of costume damage taken that are actually uh, quite useful as well including um, uh, the assassin's mark and things like that and the character is starting to work well on low tier maps so I haven't made my way into yellow maps just yet I think I need more of those perfect flasks in order to get that build going and I would need my final ascension as well uh, in order to really get uh, the full advantage of the system that I'm, I'm working on which is basically uh, that uh, a flask use gives me six six percent of my uh, HP back and uh, if I have the perfect flask for that so they use at max 20 charges they get a seven charges back on hit and they are used when they're full uh, I can basically have those uh, be used when Whenever I get hit and I only have one of those flasks so far and I don't have enough into the flask recovery rate in order to make it trigger air on every single hit but my tankiness is already uh, a lot better uh, I just you know have been keeping an eye on the prizes and it's like easily 30 to 40 uh, chaos for one of those flasks or I would need to build it myself which would mean having like a lot of instilling orbs which haven't really been dropping for me so there's basically a lot of work and effort that would still have to be done in order to bring this character uh, to the next level and we'll see we'll see it is starting to feel again uh, pretty grindy right that's always my problem I managed to get into those early sometimes even into the mid maps if I'm a little bit lucky with my build but in order to get to that end game I need to grind out uh, quite a lot more currency in order to get that much better gear or try to craft it myself but not too familiar with the crafting system and so as a result I'm not sure uh, if I'm gonna keep working on that character or if I'm perhaps gonna try something different uh, maybe a minion build which I haven't done this league just yet and is actually my favorite playstyle uh, in Path of Exile we will see I'm definitely enjoying the game I think this is absolutely an incredible league and an incredible expansion for the game I would even say that if you have never played the game and you are like looking for the right time to jump in to give it a first look this would really be it because that mapping process now uh, is so much easier so clearer uh, I'm making good progress on unlocking more of my atlas uh, and then of course that skill tree uh, it looks so daunting but at the moment right, I need more maps and I can just keep taking points that are going to increase my map drop rate whenever I do mapping and it's already starting to feel a lot better uh, in order for me to sustain maps and to find new maps uh, in order to uh, continue and progress in my atlas and it's so much more rewarding as well for every map that you complete the challenge for you know kill the boss on at the right difficulty uh, you get an extra skill point and you make improvements uh, on your mapping experience so I, I really think that uh, GDG nailed it uh, for, uh, for that part I'm absolutely having a much better time uh, just doing a little bit of mapping and then seeing progress when I get lucky with a, a, a different map drop or I find some Kirak missions or something like that and uh, and that has definitely allowed me to to build up a little bit more than what I would even usually do when it comes to, uh, to the experience but I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to uh, play this character or even this league because my brother actually mentioned that uh, a new uh, patch has come out as well for space engineers with different weapon types we will of course see what i am planning to do and as always i will keep you guys up to date i am taking a little bit of break uh, of a break from the videos during the week i'm basically thinking a little bit about what i want to do next and uh, what types of videos i want to make uh, because um, at the moment i'm basically a little bit tapped out especially when it comes to the eve online content i don't want to uh, you know come out again with more exploration videos on the Ishtar same thing actually with Path of Exile you know I could make another video hey I brought this character into maps but uh, that's not all too compelling uh, content and so I'm, I'm thinking about which uh, direction I want to go for extra videos Eve talk absolutely I'm still making that one and a Sunday recap as well I like that to be my end of the week video where I keep you guys up to date on everything that's happening for now probably another break next, uh, next week but uh, hopefully uh, I get some inspiration for now thank you very much for watching and as always I'll see you next time